it, so let's cook that. Today we'll be making some delicious tacos. If you like tacos and if you like fish, you're gonna enjoy this video because we have some delicious Baja Ensenada style fish tacos. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the batter first and then while we wait a little bit, I'm gonna show you what kind of toppings I like to put in my tacos. So before we get started with those ingredients, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video, you guys. So now let's get started with those ingredients. So these will be the following ingredients. Of course, fish. I'm using curvina. This one, they brought it for me from Ensenada, but I will leave in the description box a list of the fish that you can use for great tacos. And then we have all-purpose flour, baking soda, chicken bouillon, garlic powder, oregano, onion powder, mustard salt, and black pepper to taste, and some beer. So for the batter, we already have our flour here. Let's add the baking soda, your chicken bouillon, the garlic powder, garlic, the garlic onion, the onion powder, oregano, it's about a pinch, but I did use one eighth of a teaspoon. So once you added the dry ingredients first, don't add the salt, leave that to the side. We're gonna go ahead and mix. And let's go ahead and add black pepper, and this is to taste, just a little bit, not too much. Mix again. Now, for the beer and the mustard, let's go ahead and add about one cup and a half of beer. If you don't want to use beer, you can always use like that um, sparkling water as well. Add the mustard. Mix, mix. Add it to pour slowly and we start mixing. Once you mix well, you want it to look like kind of like a pancake batter. Okay, so now the salt, you're gonna use it for your fish. Just sprinkle a little bit. You don't need much. So now you're gonna go ahead and add your fish. You're gonna cut it like really thin and small, just enough for it to fit in your taco. We're gonna go ahead and add it into our batter. And I did wash my fish and I pat dry it just so you don't want it wet so it can get the batter. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it. Now, let's cover it up, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna cut our veggies and make our sauce. Okay, so I have um, purple cabbage and green cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and finely chop really tiny, and then I'm gonna wash it after I cut it so it could get well rinsed. So once we gave it a good rinse. I set it aside. I'm going to leave this like this because um, my family likes it with nothing on it. But if you want to do it into like a slaw, that which is really good, you can check it out on my video of the shrimp tacos. But now let's go ahead and start um, cutting up to make a pico de gallo. Now we're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. You can also um, chop some serrano peppers and put it in there. If you want it more like, you know, spicy, I'm not doing this one spicy. And let's squeeze some lime. And mix. 
All right, so right here I have some mayonnaise and sour cream. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime. Give it a good mix. But right here I have my chipotle sauce. I already have a video on that, so we'll leave it on the description box. Like, we'll leave a link on there, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do, leave a link. So let's go ahead and mix. So I'm preheating the oil. Make sure it reaches 350 to 375 Fahrenheit, medium to high, but more to the medium side. So now let's go ahead and fry our fish and make sure to have a um, plate with paper towel so you can put your fish on there after. So let's go ahead and grab the fish and dip. Like, well, it's already in there, but let's go ahead and make sure it's nice and coated. Start frying. And you want to cook it for about like four to five minutes or into it. It's nice and golden color. Then that means it's ready. But you can always make sure and cut one open to check. So it's been about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn them around. See how nice and golden brown they are. That's what the mustard is for to help it for the color. It doesn't really taste like mustard, you guys. But you can always substitute the mustard for like a little bit of paprika just to give it color. So these are ready. Nice and golden brown. That's what you want to see. That's what you want. So I already warmed up the tortillas. And let's go ahead and create your taco with your favorite toppings. I have chipotle, like I said, and the regular one. So let's go ahead and add this one with the mayonnaise and the sour cream. little bit of the cabbage your fish make sure it's well cooked so you can cut it open to make sure it's cooked go. some pico de gallo some salsita and I do have a playlist with the salsas and we'll leave some we'll leave some listed below just add a little bit because this one came out spicy and then for the second one let's go ahead and add some of our chipotle sauce so let's drizzle some at the bottom oops let's put the cabbage at the bottom fish your salsita make it the way you like it remember Everything's optional. And we have some pickled onion here. Let's add some pickled onion as well. And let's, can't forget the lime, you guys. Let's put some lime. And this is all done, ready to enjoy. And there you have it, you guys. Fish tacos, Baja style, very delicious, very easy to make. You can also make avocado sauce, but I didn't have avocado, so I owe you guys that avocado sauce. But let's go ahead and give this a try, you guys. It smells really good. It smells like when you're in those um, taco stands in Mexico. But let's try. Mmm. Very delicious, you guys. I hope you guys give it a try. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Share with your family and friends. And you guys, I love to see all your guys' pictures and your guys' comments on Instagram. Yesterday, I received so many that just made me happy that a lot of them were happy. One of them said that her husband even asked to marry her again, you guys. That is amazing. I love to share my recipes. So I hope you guys stay safe out there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Cook That. Let's cook